All right, so this is the next step. Um, what I've done so far, since the last time you've seen, is um, I've used a air conditioning duct sealant on on this here and sealed up all the holes. So this is the intake, right? And we don't want any fresh air coming in to uh, dilute our hot air that's going to be going in there. So. Um, and then I went ahead and put some insulation, fiberglass insulation inside uh, around this area so that we retain, uh, it's more efficient, it will retain a lot of our heat since our heat source is coming from a, uh, a far away but, well yeah, a far away location, not super far but uh, enough that we want to retain any heat as possible. Our coil's not inside of here so anyway, you get the, you get the gist. So. Um, and then also, uh, there was a sensor right here. I disconnected that sensor. There was two wires going into it. I took the two wires out and just closed them together with a wire nut, and I put the wire nut right there. So what that's going to do is, I guess the reason I, I got this dryer was because the sensor was bad, and so the heating element wasn't coming on. We don't really need that anymore, so I just wired it through. Uh, rather than getting a new sensor for it. There's no need for the sensor because now that it's uh, a solar setup, there's no fire hazard besides the motor. So, I mean, but yeah, I just left all these sensors down here hooked up except for this one. Um, I started disconnecting them right here. I took this one off of there and just wired the wires together. Um, th these were still good, so I just left them. It's the same thing. It's not going to really do anything for us and it's not going to hurt us if it's taken out of the loop. So, the the fiberglass insulation that I got, I recycled from uh, some air conditioning company that was had scraps left over. This is equivalent to about five feet of six inch flexible uh, duct. And then I I sealed up here too with that um, with that sealant. It's rated for like 155 degrees. I don't think we're gonna. I mean, we might get 160, but uh, I'm sure their ratings are are relatively uh, nominal. It's it's not gonna do anything bad for us. I, I'm a get. I'm guessing the temperature, the air temperature, at best could get 160, but on average, probably gonna be around 120, 130. Um, I'm hoping for more, but that's a a rough low ball. Anyway, so we get that hooked up. Uh, I get my last piece of insulation to go over this before before we uh, close this up. And go ahead and take our cover. And I went ahead and cut a hole out right there for on the cover for for that intake air and we'll slap that guy together just like that and it is converted then we just need to um, it's converted as much as I'm going to convert it the only this is a simpler conversion because uh, the coil is external um, that allows me to get the dryer into places that are tied up against the wall like I wouldn't be able to if I if I had tried to convert it inside and it would take a whole lot longer to convert it if I tried to get everything stuck inside so this will this will get me on the on the roll thank you and I'll um, do another video here in just a minute on the next step so far the whole conversion process has taken me uh, about two and a half hours